Hari Om Tat Sat. Welcome to Gyan Bhakti. We focus on spirituality, a journey to self-realization. Please subscribe for the mystical meanings of the scriptures and daily satsang. Our humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman, our worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanand Ji Maharaj, all sages and scriptures, and to the divinity in each of you. We are currently exploring the scripture Kundalini Yoga, commentaries by Sri Swami Jyotirmayananda and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. In today's satsang, we will be studying more detail about the Anahata Chakra. The element that predominates at the Anahata Chakra is the air element. The air element has many implications. Air does not refer merely to the atmospheric air that envelops the earth. The vital forces or prana that sustain the life of physical bodies are also called air. The air element is also implied in any sort of motion, gross or subtle. Anywhere in the vastness of space in the universe, even when there is no atmosphere, there is the motion of stars and planets that are caused by a subtle air element. The subtle air element is also associated with the sense of touch and the karmendriya or organ of action related to the heart center is the hand. Operating at the heart center is prana, the principal aspect of prana that regulates respiration and the functions of the heart. Besides merely thinking about aspects of the air element that are well known in the physical plane, we may also meditate upon the subtle implications of the air element on the psychological level. On the psychological plane, the elements can operate either in a positive or in a negative fashion. When the air element has not been properly controlled and is operating negatively in human personality, we become flighty. We are easily overpowered by distracting thoughts, vain desires and fancies. On the other hand, when the air element is expressing positively, we are filled with a sense of joy, life and freedom. Like a person who welcomes a fresh breeze after being confined in a suffocating environment. We also develop detachment, strength of will, enthusiasm, courage and dynamism in our personality. If we combine the insights of Vedanta with our Kundalini practice, then Kundalini Yoga becomes much more profound. For example, we can practice Ahamgraha Upasana, identifying ourselves with the object of meditation, becoming one with it. In the case of the Anahata Chakra, we should try to feel that I am the air element and allow our imagination to help us grasp this aspect of our universal identity. And then in the end, we will see how Sage Vashishta enjoyed such reflection and meditation on the air element. The color associated with this chakra, the petals of the lotus of the Anahata Chakra are a swarthy black, like the symbolic description of Lord Rama and Lord Krishna, in the scriptures. We may meditate upon the chakras by visualizing this hue, feeling that we are seeing a dark cloud pouring down its rain. As the cloud dissolves, enjoy how the color of the cloud becomes swarthy as the blue sky is gradually revealed. Also, since the air element predominates at Anahata, we may move in a Vedantic direction and meditate upon a green hue, which is symbolic of the air element. Loka or plane or consciousness associated with the chakra. The Anahata chakra is related to the Maharaloka, a higher astral plane. Each plane is called a Loka, which is really a state of consciousness. Animal associated with the chakra, when kundalini begins to operate at anahata, 
a yogi experiences an expansion of consciousness, which is well symbolized by the deer. This animal bounces through the forest with a swiftness and lightness that is characteristic of the air element. Presiding deity of the chakra is Ishan Rudra, an aspect of Lord Shiva, the destroyer of the universe. His Shakti is known as Kakini, a special name that has evolved for her with relation to this chakra. In meditating on the Anahata chakra, we should try to commune with Rudra or Lord Shiva and his Shakti to become one with them. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai Om Namo Shivai So in tomorrow's satsang, we will be covering the yantra associated with the chakra, the fruit of the meditation of the chakra, and the various pranayama exercises. This is Swami Nikhilananda. Om Tatsat.